Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a long one. I might as well just say that straight away. But today we're going to be tackling one of the questions that I get asked the most in all of the comments on all of my other videos. And that question is, could you show us how to set up cosplay for handling multiple uh, forex harvesters? And the short answer to that is yes, I can. But I think you guys deserve a little bit more than a short answer to that. So I want to talk to you guys about how this is done because it's not as simple as you might think. Now, setting up cosplay to handle several machinery running the same cause is nothing new to us. We've done that a ton of time and I'm, I'm sure that you guys have seen me do it in some of my other videos. And setting up um, more than one uh, forex harvesters is effectively not that much different than setting up um, a course for several combine harvesters. So we know that can be done and the course would be the same, basically. So setting up a course for a combine harvester and a forage harvester, well, the difference there is that on the combine harvester, you have a grain tank built in on the combine harvester. So the combine harvester would not actually need to have a tractor chasing it at all time. It only needs a tractor to unload into when the grain tank is about full. Um, and that can be done very easy. However, when we set up for a forage harvester, now you guys have seen me do this a ton of time as well. Setting up a forage harvester is quite easy. However, you do need to have a tractor like this Matthew Ferguson here with a trailer attached to it chasing the forage harvester. But that presents a problem because when this trailer is full, the Massey Ferguson needs to go back to the silo pit down there where the John Deere is stood and unload the content of the trailer. And while it's doing that, the forage harvester can't do anything. It's just sat there on the field doing nothing. So to minimize downtime, you will always need to have at least two tractors chasing the forage harvester. Um, but that's not, not an issue at all. That can be done very, very easily. And you guys have seen me do that as well. Um, and it all goes very well. The uh, level and compact tractor will easily uh, handle that task. But introducing another forage harvester into the setup is going to cause us a little bit of a problem. Because with one forage harvester, you have two chase tractors. But with two forage harvesters, you will then have four, at least four chase tractors. That means that you double the capacity or you double the amount of tractors that is going to come down to unload into the silo. Now, I tested this and I'm sorry to say, but in my testing, it couldn't be done. Um, I, came, I came to a point where my chaser tractors kind of, kind of went into like a train mode where they were following each other uh, straight away. So I had three, tra uh, three tractors coming into here at the same time. So when that happens, this tractor here is gonna go into the park mode up here. Uh, and it's just gonna wait for clear passage again. Now, when that happens, the first tractor, the first chaser tractor is gonna come down and it's gonna unload into the silo and then it's gonna take off. And that leaves space for the second uh, tractor that's gonna come in here reverse back and unload exactly at the same point where the first chaser tractor unloaded and so on and so forth. So what happened then was once this tractor, the leveling and compacting tractor, had free passage to go back to the silo, there was a massive buildup here in the, at the front of the silo that the leveling and compacting tractor couldn't actually handle. So that idea went out the window. So we need to do something else because obviously it can be done. And on this map here, I do have a couple of options, and, and you guys, probably, most of you probably know that this is my own private edit of the uh, Low Sail Country map. And um, I build in this silo building down here that we're going to come down to here. So my initial idea was, well, we're going to need to have a buffer then. We're going to need to set up a place where, where the four chasing tractors can unload the, the chaff. And then we can transport the chaff from this buffer place up to the silo pit. So my initial idea was to drive it down here, have all of the four chaser tractors unload into here, and I could then set up a course with the fifth tractor uh, transporting the chaff from the unload pipe over here and up to the silo point. 
Now if I turn on this silo here, you can see that the upper right uh, icon on the screen is chaff, so I do have the uh, capacity for chaff here. However, this silo system here is, is based upon the farm silo system script. And as it turns out, that script is not really a good friend with cosplay. For this script to work, you will need to actually come out here and manually start the unloading point. Um, so every time I had trailer parked underneath this pipe, if I swing that out again, every time a trailer was parked underneath here, I would need to stand over here and say unload or start loading or fill trailer or something like that. Now that obviously doesn't work, so this idea kind of fast went out the window. So I had another idea. Now over here I have a silo building that I have built myself. And this silo building here is using the vanilla um, silo script or loading and unloading script. So it would be fairly easy for me to go in and just add chaff as a fruit type and I would be able to do it in here. So that would mean that I would have the four chasing tractors come into the silo uh, building, unload onto the ramp here, and I could set up the fifth tractor um, out here to take the chaff from here and back to the silo pit, and that will work out just fine. I think that will be the solution that I am going to end up having if I am to do this. Uh, seeing as the other silo uh, script actually doesn't really work that well with cosplay, I might go ahead and do that. But it would take me about 10 minutes to do it, so it's not really that big of a task. But it wouldn't really help you in any way. And I kind of want to make this video so I can actually help you guys and show you how I deal with this problem. So instead of doing this, we're going to do something else. We're basically going to place a new building. So let's go into the placeable buildings. And in here I downloaded a mod. Let's see if we can find it. This Futalaga that we have here. Now you can see the fruit types that this Futalaga has. And right there is Chav. So this can act as a buffer. And you can see the capacity is 250 million liters of, of whatever fruit type you have. So 250 million liters of chaff before this gets full. That would be more than sufficient for me to actually use this as a buffer and place all of my chaff in here and then have one single uh, tractor driving the chaff from this building up to the silo pit. So let's set that up. So I've already done a little bit of testing of this and um, I want to have this building placed over here somewhere. So let's see if we can set this up in a good way. Right, like that. That seems about right. And if we can turn it a little bit, let's see, we want it like that. So, if we look at this building, because we, we're going to have to be smart about this now. The chaser tractor is, or the, the tractors are going to come down this road here, and then they're going to go up to the building over here. So to the right of us, on the right side of the building, you can see that the inlet pipe is, and that's where the chaff or the chaser tractor is going to unload, and the chaff is going to be pulled into the building. And on the other side, the left side, you can see the pipe that's sticking out of the building. That's the unload pipe. That's where chaff is going to be loaded into a trailer that's going to transport it back to the silo pit. So I want to be a little bit smart about this. I want to make it so that the tractors do not have to cross the road to complete their courses, which means that seeing as I am driving on a European style map, the tractors are going to come down here. They're going to hock the right side of this road here. So if I set it up like this, they don't have to cross the road. They can go around this building. So if we set it up like that, that should be... There we go. That should be enough space for us to actually have this... Uh, building over here. So let's run over and see how it looks. Alright, that looks fairly decent. That looks like a good um, a good placement for this building. Now I know uh, in comparison to what you would do in real life, this doesn't really work. You would never do anything like this because you are basically blocking this door right here. Um, however, I don't really care. This mod here uh, was the one that I found that actually fitted my map. There are plenty of mods out there. I will of course link this one in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it. 
Uh, this was the one that would fit on my map, and um, we're going to be using that. All right. We are also going to be using another placeable mod, and uh, let me just find that straight away. Because uh, I, I kind of want to have a overview of how much is actually in this building, how much chaff is in there. So I'm going to be using these uh, display from Tech Farm. Now these are really brilliant. You can see the fill level and capacity and so on. And if I take the base display here, you can see the fill types for the base display is those listed down here. And chaff is not one of them. So I'm going to go to the other display and chaff is right there as the... Uh, fourth fill type, so or the third third fill type. Let's go ahead and buy that one and set this one up. Uh, we're going to be placing it over here. So let's turn this one around a little bit. And if I place this uh, just around here somewhere, like that, that would do. So now we actually have. Um, we have a way of seeing how much chaff is actually in this building. All right, so far so good. So now we have the farm ready for it. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we're gonna start set up the course play courses. So I'll meet you guys on the field ready to set up the course play courses. Once again, field number 29 is gonna be the field that we're gonna be working on. And we are gonna use some forest harvesters to actually cut this field into chaff. And uh, we got two identical forage harvesters standing over here. The only difference of these two is the color of them. Other than that, they are exactly identical. It is the Chrome Big X 580 and the Chrome Big X 580. So identical horsepower, identical cutter heads. Only thing different is the color. So those are gonna be the two uh, Forest harvesters that we're going to use. We also have four tractors standing ready for carting the chaff back to the silo. So let's set up a course for all of this. Let's get started and we're going to start out with this forest harvester over here. So we're going to start up the forest harvester and we're going to drive up to the field here. Now, setting all of this up is nothing different than what we have done a ton of time in the uh, combine harvesters. So, let's open the course play hot and go into field work mode. And in here we're going to chase the course generation button and field number 29. The working width is 6.2 meters, that seems about right. And the starting location is going to be the current vehicle position. The starting direction is going to be automatic. Return to first point, uh, we don't really care about. Headlands we do care about. Now seeing as we are going to be uh, carting the chaff back to the farm and we're going to be using these um, forage harvesters. Now we know that the turning width of the chasing tractor is going to be immense so I'm actually going to take four headlands. The headland turn we're going to or the, the headland is going to be set to sharp turn which is going to uh, make the turning a 90 degree angle when we come to the edge of the field. All right. The bypass island function, we're going to set that one up and we're going to set it to circle. So that means that it will turn or go around uh, the island up there. Multiple tool, we have two of them. All right, let's uh, generate the field course and with any luck, we should have the course set up uh, right there. Okay. Well, let's uh, get this forest harvester ready. Now, I know a couple of, of you guys uh, have been talking about the symmetric lane chains and why I use it and, and it's not really needed. However, I do get the best result with symmetric lane chains. So I'm going to go into the driving settings and I'm going to set this to drive on the right side of this line. So it's going to be closest to the center of the field and I'm going to activate symmetric lane chains. Now, for me, that is what's working and you guys might have a different result than that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this course here. And for this particular setup, we're gonna call it uh, Field 29 uh, Chaff Harvest, I guess, like that. Okay, and now it's saved right here. 
All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start at the first waypoint and we're going to activate Combine Convoy. All right, so let's set this one off to drive the course. So it's going to go over to the start point and there it's going to sit and wait for a chaser tractor to actually be able to do something here. So let's set up a course for this. All right, so we're going to use this John Deere that is stood right here to set up a course for for carting the chaff back to the silo or back to um, the new building. And to set this one up, first of all, we want to go in and we're going to disable uh, traffic. If I can find it is. Oh, that was already disabled. That was nice. So we're going to disable traffic so we don't really need to care about cars or anything like that. And then I'm going to set up a course that will probably work the best for these tractors. Which means that we're going to go a little bit up here. And we're going to set up a course from around here somewhere. Okay, so let's start it from here. And we're going to go into the combi mode, which is empty combine and offload. And start the course recording. Now, as always, you want to have the first three waypoints in a relatively straight line. That's two, three, and now we're ready to drive wherever we want to. So I'm going to drive down here. Now, please keep in mind that you are going to be driving on a road with AI traffic here. So because of that, I'm going to stick to the side of the road that is appropriate for the map that I'm playing on. Now, as I just said before, this is a European style map. So staying on the right side of the road is where I want to be. Had it been a UK style map, I would have been driving on the left side of the road. But now we're just going to go back to the buffer house and I'm just going to go in cab view because that's a lot quieter. Um, and I'm using my keyboard to make this or to record this course, uh, which is why it's so jerky. Right, so we're going to be driving into the farm around here. And head back to the unload point. So normally when I come back here, I would turn right into the silo pit right in there. But in this case, we're going to continue on straight forward. Like so, and we're going to go all the way over here. I'm going to slow down here because this is a bit of the tricky part. And we don't want to have a lot of problems here, so like that should be fine. And we don't need to set a waypoint either, Cosplay will detect the tip trigger. And we can go this way around here, so that will be fine. And now we just need to get back to the field without causing too much of a, a hiccup here. Alright. That seemed to be working just fine. It is a little bit narrow down here, but I think we're good. I do really like this um, John Deere mod here. It's such a brilliant tractor. Okay, so we're going to approach the road with AI traffic, so I'm going to slow down a little bit, because once we enable traffic again, I want this tractor to be able to detect the traffic and slow down if, if needed. Alright, so it's just driving back to the field now. Okay, so we're going to be driving into the field around here and we're going to stop over here. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of a room behind me so the tractors actually have a room to sit here and wait. But this is a good course, so we're going to stop the recording and let's save this recording at field 29, Jav, carding, like that.
so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to tell this tractor which uh, combine I want it to follow. Now I want to have it follow the big X that is, let's just have a look. I have a big X that is 29 meters away, which must be that one over there. And then I have one that's 17 meters away, which is that one there. All right. So that should be fine. Uh, let's just have a look. Is there anything else we want to take into consideration? I'm going to uh, deactivate the fuel save option just in case. Um, anything else I want to have a look at? No, I think we're good to go. I'm just checking. Yeah, that seems fine. So, drive the course and now we should drive uh, over to the forest harvesters. Now you will get a lot of problems here yourself. Uh, so, as you can see, we're currently getting stuck in trees and that is going to happen like a ton of time. So I want to take you guys with me on this here because I can guarantee you, no matter how well you prepare for this, you will find a lot of problems here. So now we should be ready to go here. All of that seems just about fine. So we're going to set up the other forage harvester now. So let's start up this beauty over here. And we are going to go into the fieldwork mode and we're going to copy the cores from the other big X. There we go. So this one is going to be driving on the left and again we're going to activate some metric lane change. We don't need to change anything in here, everything is taken care of. So all we need to do is activate the combine convoy and start at the first waypoint and we can go up here. and say drive course and that's going to go to the first point here like that all right so let's set up the next tractor now this is going to be fairly easy because we already have the course set up from the from the jandir so once i start this tractor up and go into the uh, combi mode i can copy the course from the jandir like that Everything is set up here. The only thing I need to worry about, oops, is the uh, combine search. Now, I want it to find the big X. And I want it to find the one that is closest by, which is that one there. Uh, only thing I'm going to do in here is deactivate the fuel save option. All right. So I think we can go ahead and do like this. I am not too sure what's going to happen now. Ah, oh, there we go. It detected that it had to go to the stop point of the course, so it didn't really go as well as I wanted it to. But you're going to be seeing this a ton of time when you set up your courses as well. Uh, setting up these courses initially can be so tricky. But now it should be fine. And you can see that the other big X is currently stuck in traffic. And that's one of the design flaws of this map here. Let's just move this one out of the way. We're going to stop the driver and I can't avoid uh, destroying a little bit of crop here. Like that. Uh, and drive course. That should be fine. So with the combine convoy, activated on these um, forest harvesters we're lucky to see how this is going to work this forest harvesters will forest harvester will never get within 95 meters of the other forest harvester up there so because of that we can have multiple tractors um, chasing these forest harvesters uh, we are going to have to go into the Messi Ferguson now. Uh, let's just stop the driver. Okay, this is going to be terrible. Let's see if we can do this without destroying too much of the crop. And thankfully this pylon here is not a solid object. 
Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna follow this tractor along because I know it's gonna get stuck on the tree right here if I don't help it. So there we go, drive course. And now we need the John Deere that is actually stuck on the tree again. So as I said, you are gonna see this like really a ton of times. Uh, this is not unusual, and especially if you have, um, especially if you have uh, trees surrounding your field, you will see this a ton of time. So right now it's saying that saying that there is no combine in reach. It's just weird. Just try and get the trailer into the field. No. Nope. Still not ready to go. That's weird. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. If we go into manage combines and we try to do a couple of things, we're going to set it like that and like that. There we go. Now it should drive behind the combine. So we're going to have to help it once again. Now, as I said before, you are going to see this a million times uh, setting this up and especially on um, on maps that has trees surrounding uh, the fields have I wedged myself in here no it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine we know exactly what we're doing all right so if we go ahead and say drive course from here let's see what happens now we're lucky things are gonna go great yeah there we go all right so phew we're off again <laughs> like I said this is gonna be a long video and it's gonna be a long video because the initial start here the the start of this course is so tricky and you need to do so many things now I am pretty uh, pretty much 100% sure that the Massey Ferguson is gonna get stuck in traffic or gonna get stuck on a tree so let's jump over to that which is parked right here we might be lucky actually let's just have a look yeah we were lucky for now I can almost guarantee you it's gonna get stuck in traffic once again all right Well, this is going great so far. I'm actually, I'm having a lot less issues setting this up than I thought I would. Now, getting the tractor stuck in trees and taking trees uh, on the side of the, the field into consideration is always going to be an issue. And there really isn't a lot cosplay can do to uh, to, to avoid that. Uh, you're just gonna, gonna you're just gonna have to roll with it and, and gonna have to help the tractors every now and again. Eventually this setup will work and it will take care of itself. All right, so we got these tractors set up here and I sh I'm quite sure that the John Deere is just about full. So we're going to set up the first case here. Now this case is basically going to be doing the same thing as the John Deere. So we're going to go into the combi mode and we're going to be copying the course. Um, it doesn't really matter if we take the Master Ferguson or we take the John Deere. We're going to take the John Deere in this case. We're going to go in here and we're going to deactivate the fuel save option. The fuel save option is the tractor turning off its engine if it has to stay still and wait for something for more than a couple of minutes. I'm going to deactivate it for this um, course here. And next thing that we want to do for this tractor is we're going to tell it which combine harvester or which forage harvester to follow so instead of automatic we're going to set it to let's just have a look i am pretty certain this is the one that the jandir is following it doesn't really matter all that matters is this tractor here needs to be on a different uh, forage harvester. So if we're going to take um, the first forage harvester, let's just say 
uh, drive course and see where this is taking us. And we can see that the Jandir is coming down, uh, ready to um, to go back to the the buffer, um, the buffer building. And this one is going to go down to the forest harvester. So everything seems to be in order. And we have a Massa Ferguson that is stuck on a tree. All right, so let's stop him and help him out a little bit. Like that. You are going to see this so many times. Um, there really isn't a lot you can do to avoid this. Anyway, we need to set up this case as well. So we're going to go into the combi mode and we're going to go into here and copy from the uh, John Deere like that. And we're going to go into this one, deactivate the fuel save option. And we're going to go into here and select the second of the big X's. All right. Let's start up the engine and we should be good. So this is the big test really, because now we're going to have four tractors driving the same course. And drive course from the next waypoint and let's see where this is going now this should be going to the forage harvester that the massive ferguson is also driving for or chasing and the massive ferguson should be on his way back here so it does say following tractor so i'm pretty curious i think we will see this uh drive to the forage harvester pretty soon let's oh <laughs> what's going on here Oh, we were waiting for the uh, forest harvester up there. Right. Ah, that was clever. That was the combine convoy function. We saw an action there. So this should mean that this one should be setting off pretty soon, actually. Maybe not. Um, anyway, let's see what's going on with this tractor down here. Now, it made it all the way back to the buffer building without any issue and if we jump out here we can um, we can see that the chaff is being loaded into um, the building great 32,999 liters of chaff let's catch a ride with this puppy here uh, back to the farm or to the field and let's see how that goes So, setting up these courses, my initial fear of this is that it's a lot of traffic. It is a lot of traffic to be driving on the same course, but it should be possible. Um, it can be done. Uh, just saying. I actually have done it, and... Throughout my testing, it has been going really well. So we're also going to go back here and we're going to turn on traffic. So let's just have a, a realistic scenario where traffic is uh, actually something that you need to take into consideration here. All right. So the Messi Ferguson should be coming back. Uh, it should be ready to unload into... Um, the building now All right so next thing that we're gonna have a look at is how to get the chaff from the building into the silo pit because we want to make this into silage and we need to have it in the silo building then okay so this can be an issue here is it gonna collide with that tractor no it's not all of this seems fine, actually. We seem to be doing pretty well. The Master Ferguson is over there, ready to head back to the farm. This tractor should be following the case that we see just over there. And it is now. Maybe. Yep, here we go. So, now we've actually set up... Um, a functional course for more than one 
forage harvester. Now this is working out pretty well. Which is nice. Uh, one thing though, that case right here seems to be rather lost. Let's see if we need to give it a hand. Um, it came in at the uh, at the course at a very <laughs> unlucky angle. I think we're going to need to give this guy a hand here. So let's say stop driver and just give him a hand. Now he needs to go back to the farm to unload so we're going to set him off from around here. There we go, that works a lot better. Alright, he's heading back to the farm. Uh, the Master Ferguson is back at the farm. Oh no, no, there it is. Alright, so we're going to jump out here. Oops, let's get out of the way. These tractors are in a hurry. So let's set up a uh, course for the leveling and compacting tractor. The good old John Deere. Oh, we actually have a big X in traffic. Let's uh, take care of that first of all. Oh yeah, that definitely seems to be in traffic. All right, stop the driver. Oops, that was the wrong way. And now we got a little bit too far ahead. So let's reverse a little bit back and drive again. All right, there we go. Yeah, that seems about fine. Mr. Ferguson is heading back. We are going to go to the John Deere down here and set up a course for the leveling and compacting. All right. So let's start up the engine. And to start off this course, we want to be within the silo. And we pretty much want to be within the middle of the two sides of the silo. Uh, so see... That seems about right. So we are going to be in the leveling and compacting mode and in here we're going to set the working width to 5 meters. Now I've tested this and 5 meters is what seems to be giving us the best result. Detect tra tractors within the range of... I'm going to set this up to 60 meters because as it turns out from the back of this silo that we parked in right here from all the way back here to all the way up here where this tractor is going to be in a little while. There's more than 50 meters, so I'm going to set it to 60 meters. I'm also going to tell it you only need to start for course play tractors. All right, let's record the course and we're going to go up in a straight line and go up here where we're going to set a parking point. Like so. Park and let's reverse back. And I want to set the stop point at around here somewhere. That seems about fine. So we're going to stop the recording there. And that's about it. Let's drive the course, see if that works. So it's going to go up to the stop point uh, or the parking point and detect where that is. Which is up here. That seems about fine. Then it's going to reverse back. And we definitely want it to reverse faster than 6 kilometers. So we're going to set that to 15 kilometers. And then it's just going to measure the width of the silo and the blade behind it. So you can see with 5 meters working with, we seem to be having a good uh, setup here. Okay, that seems to be working, so let's save this course as... Uh, chaff... Level... And Compact. Silo 1. I am never in my living days going to remember what this is, but for the sake of this video, let's just call it that. That is all good. Now we have a big X in traffic once again. All right. Um, so you, my friend, are going to have to go a little bit forward here. Uh, let's just see if we can have him 
going like this, that uh, should be fine. Ah, uh, that wasn't really any good. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that should be fine. Yep, they're happy. It's all good. Everyone is happy. All right, let's get back to this tractor because we do need to set up a course for this tractor as well. So this tractor has one job. All it needs to do is take the chaff from the um, from the buffer building down here um, up to the silo pit and unload and go back to the uh, buffer building and get more chaff. So hopefully we can set up a course for this that is somewhat reasonable. Alright, so we're going to go over here where we're going to set up a course and we want to be underneath the pipe here. Let's just set this puppy up a little bit better. Like that, that should be fine. So we're going to go into the course play again and this time we're going to be in the grain transport which is this first button here. And we're going to start the course recording. Now the grain transport is the only mode you don't really need the three waypoints in a relatively straight line. So let's go into cab view and make sure that we are sticking to the right side of the course here or the road. So we're not going to get into trouble with oncoming traffic. And we're going to be turning in right here. And I'm going to slow down a little bit and then we're just going to go over here, alright? So over here we're going to set a reverse point, like that. And we're going to reverse into uh, the bunker silo. Well, let's see if I can reverse in there in a somewhat decent manner. No, I couldn't. <laughs> that is so terrible. I really don't know why I'm so bad at reversing when I'm recording. But notice how far into the silo I'm going to go. And in here I'm going to set a... Let's go forward point. I'm not going to set a waypoint. It will detect the uh, tip trigger by itself. So, oops. I'm going to go out of the silo again. Like that. And now we're going to head back to the start of this course. And I am going to be slowing down a little bit because I really don't want to collide with the uh, tractors coming, carting the grain. Oh, the chaff, sorry. And here we go. Now I'm going to slow down here because this is the tricky bit right here. We definitely want to make sure that we are not going to get stuck on anything here. So this should be the course. And like that. Alright. Let's stop there. And that seems very good actually. I'm, I'm quite pleased with this one. So we're going to be transporting chaff. If we can find it. There we go. Start the course at the first waypoint. And number of runs to drive unlimited. Let's just drive. Let's see how this goes. And now we're gonna have a full load. How great is this? And the cuckoo thinks thinks it's really great as well in the background here. Alright, so this Master Ferguson is off again, and it looks like the John Deere is just about done tipping as well. So everything should be in order now. I'm very curious to see how this course is going to go. And I know that this has been a very long video, I'm truly sorry about this, but setting up something like this requires you to really 
set all of this up and it does take a long time and you as you could see in this video a ton of times there there was problems um and you can see we have the puma and the big x stuck in traffic both of them so i do need to constantly keep an eye out for these uh machinery here but i'm actually really pleased with how this is going here we go now if i had just been a little bit better at reversing this uh, when recording the course this would have been fine but it's still fine it has reached the tip trigger and it's going to unload here and now it's going to go back to pick up even more chaff there we go So let's um, save this course and we're going to call it Buffer to Silo. Alright. That's fine. So let's go over and see what's going on with these over here. Oh yeah, yeah. That is definitely stuck in traffic. Holy crap. My friend, you're going to have to stop a little bit here. Right, there we go. <laughs> We're ready to go again. Damn, that was terrible. Oh my god! What a reckless driver. That could have been me, actually. That <laughs> probably would have been me. But alright, uh, we can't have these uh, setups this complicated without a little bit of a mishap every now and again um overall i think it's actually going really well i think it is not too bad everything considered let's head back to the silo to see how things are going back here So now we can see that the level and compact tractor is working its way down there. And you can see that the beacon has turned on, which means that it has to take the Massey Ferguson up here. So now it's going to go up to the waiting position and just wait for this tractor here um, to get out of the way. So we're just going to run down here and we're just going to have a look at how this is going. Like so. All right, that seems to be going really well. So there you have it, guys. Um, this is how I would tackle a situation with having multiple forage harvesters. Now, seriously, keep this in mind when you set a course like this up. The more forage harvesters you have, the more chase attractors you need, and the more chase attractors you have, the more risky or tricky this course is going to be for you to set up and uh it can be done as you can see here i just really want to tell you guys be careful with what you do uh, make sure to to think it through and make sure to test it and test it and test it and and like really test it all the time because it is something that uh, is gonna require you to have it have an eye on it at all time as you can see here but I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. And I know that there has been a couple of mishaps here and there. Uh, but it is expected with these kind of setups. All right. Let's head into some of the other tractors and see how things are going here. Now, if you look on the road out there, you can see that the case uh, is going back to the farm the Massey Ferguson is also going back to the farm now those two if I didn't have this setup here where I have a buffer those two would come into the silo pit at pretty much the exact same time and that would cause the level and, level and compact and tractor not to be able to uh, keep up 
Where are you going? Oh, there we go, he stopped. <laughs> So the first couple of headlands was really tricky. Now we're in a territory where the uh, chasing tractors can actually turn around. That is it. That is how I will tackle a setup like this. And I hope you guys have had some of your questions answered about this. And I hope that this video wasn't too intimidating for you guys to, to try this out yourself. It is not too bad once you just figure out what to do and um, as you can see mishap happens they happen to me a ton of time in this small recording here and they will continue to happen you can see right here now this is actually getting stuck in traffic right now because the John Deere is on the wrong side of it so all of these mishaps keeps happening but thank oh my god thankfully they're not too bad to um, to actually fix again like that we just need to drive the Master Ferguson oh no the Master Ferguson the John Deere out the way every now and again it's just it's that simple really just need to keep an eye on out on these um, tractors here and other than that they pretty much take care of themselves anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video and I hope your question has been answered here um, I promise you guys there will be a lot more videos coming up on the channel very very soon. Uh, I am working on a ton of things so I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately but yeah it'll change. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye for now.